What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I want to welcome you guys back to NBA 2K20, my career. Had a beast of a game in the last one. I absolutely love it. We are just shy of getting our next My Points Breaker as well as our uh, next uh, shooting badge. I think it's kind of cheese that they stopped us right there, but we'll get it in the neighborhood when we go to practice. So let's do it. All right, guys. So we unlocked that shooting badge. I was debating on doing either uh, gold dead eye, gold catch and shoot. Honestly, man, judging from this, or I was going to do Hall of Fame difficult shots. I think I'll get there because we only have nine. That's not even half of them. So I think I'm going to do gold catch and shoot. Up next, I'll probably do gold dead eye. And then eventually Hall of Fame. So it'll be one, two, and then I'll work on volume shooter and then whatever's left, right? That's kind of what I'm going to go for. So gold catch and shoot is going to come in handy. I utilize that all the time. So, well, at least lately I have been. Be able to get more threes more frequently. Let's do it. And the Clippers looking good as they <laughs> came into the arena before the game. Important to make a splash in hostile territory. And the uh, game arrives. I wonder if these like in game sponsorships are also real life sponsorships. They're like, you know, ads for 2K. You know what I mean? Like Express Men or whatever. I just think that's very possible. GA, it's all yours. Well, what a great attitude. He is a monster. Anyway. David, thank you. And the Clippers are looking forward to this. The two stars, George and Leonard, fill up the forward Man, slots. these shoes look sick then with this. It's Williams. I love the black then uniform. Then there's Harold, and it's Quinn in at the one spot. And for they would look good. I can wear red, too. Obviously, Holiday most of the guys have the red the accents, spot. but I want blue. Kind of sets three, me out. And Zion the four. And it's Favors in at the center position. Well, Steve, we're just halfway through the season. What stands out to you so far and what you've seen? Well, I think for me, is those teams are underdogs. Or is this the younger brother? No, this is true. Some of those teams that we had out in front, we start to nitpick what's wrong with those guys. I think look at that defense. Point is for teams both underachieving, overachieving. Oh, man, look at these blocks. To really kick in, and some of those teams do, and some don't. That's got to be money. Come on, baby. The shot by Quinn, no good. That's like catch and shoot goal. And here's the fast break. Paul leading the way. Kicks it to Holiday. Oh, what am I doing? I'm mixed, miss, I'm nowhere near. Ingram outside. Williamson, the pass to Ingram. Lock at six. Oh, I'm on Zion. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Let's it go from the wing, and it's Williamson missing. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against Orlando. Now the feed to Quinn. Got it. That quickness. Easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Love it. Great pass by Lou. He's such a good scorer. That allows him to draw the defensive attention away from his teammates. Look at that D, bro. Didn't matter. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help? Oh, look at that. No excuse. You I love the, aware. you know, I'm already waiting down yonder. All the time. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. And Holiday kicks the ball. Back to Holiday. Ingram against George. Fires the three. And Brandon oh, Ingram hits from deep. And when Ingram is left alone from deep, his eyes light up. His shooting is just out of this world. Ah. The shot by Quinn, no good. I'm trying to take more threes. The Pelicans have gone two or five here. But you kind of have to be warm. percent so far to start out the game. Holiday finds Ingram. Shoots from the elbow. Offensive rebound. Williamson dishes. Oh, leave him. Good D. Great D that time from Harold. That was excellent contest. Preventing him from making something. Oh, put it in, bro. What's automatic. with the layups? Dunk no, it. Boy, just a soft touch on both ends of that. That's annoying. Game. I gotta say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Now here's ball. And looking at his How do you not know where it was going? A little more than seven points a game. There's just a feel that ball plays with that that really separates him from so many other players. He's superb at finding ways here to score in the paint. Here's Quinn. I went a, I went to the D. I could have just gone to the bucket, but that in gives me a little more period, space. They're feeding him, and he's feeling it. The Pelicans trail. Holiday surveying the floor. Oh, they just Archie let him in. And he sinks the layup. Holiday's got his second best. 
To score, Holiday does not need to get all the way to the wreck. He uses oh, that's a, a little early. Variety of floaters wow, I'm lane. overshooting. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. Good D. Where they beat the Clippers. And that last one came right down to the wire. The difference for me being oh. the impact they got from their bench. And I one poster. That really was so sick. The last time these two teams battled. We'll see if it'll be there for them again. Los that was so nice. Their first free throw of the game. That free throw, good from Quinn. You know it is. The Pelicans tried to build a contender around Anthony Davis. They're hoping this go around with Zion Williamson. They'll be able to create a more complete team. Now here's Ingram following the miss by Lonzo Ball. Holiday against Williams. Second shot opportunity. Here's Favors. Look at that D, buddy. I'm smaller, so. Not much contestion. One of the foremost offensive rebounders in the game favors always in pursuit. Quinn passes to Williams. Here's Quinn. He's coming off an unbelievably high scoring game. That's money. Good on the baseline, Jay. 11 points in the game. I just needed and some space. Steve with the Anthony Davis trade completed, a new look for the Pelicans. Yes, plan A, Kevin, was to make it work with Anthony Davis. Instead, they have acquired a lot of young talent. I'm there. Of it. In time, oh, he made it. I didn't think he'd get it. In my opinion, to be reckoned with. This tug of war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Oh, oh too much. Terrific. Too much traffic. Player. Drew Holiday not giving an inch. And he sends that one way back. Stripped it. Stolen. Kawhi. Popping. Oh, that's and that's aggravating. To the Pelicans. Here's Ingram. Ooh. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The second overall pick back in 2016, Brandon Ingram has shown us flashes. But whether it's defense or offense, a ways to go. I agree. He hasn't really done much. Davis comes in for Derek Favors. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Oh, Lonzo man. Ball. Andrew Beverly is checked in for the Clippers. Holiday against Leonard. Holiday with it. Like, look he at the size of Zion compared to me. Against Utah. Shoots over Leonard. The offensive rebound. And it's Davis missing. I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Kawhi, and all day. Gets it to go. This is what you want to do on the offensive end. Get Kawhi looks in the paint. Rely on him to make a play. And Greg, when you talk about Ingram, where would you look for him to make the next step in his game? Well, uh, in it, that one season at Duke, he did shoot over 40% from three. Trying to do something. Becoming a reliable shooter from out there would be a key building block. Leonard on the wing, has to Quinn. Oh, I thought that was going in. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Right side, Holiday. And in by Holiday. This is just one of many areas where Reddick has improved. Reading the floor and finding his guys for good quality shots. Here's Quinn, guarded by Holiday. Yeah. Immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. Ooh, I, I made sure I just put it down. Appreciate getting scored on on that last trip. I guess not. He threw it down right on top of him. Now here is Holiday. He has six. I'm all over him, but it didn't matter. Slight mismatch. He's four of eight. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Pop it up. Harold, the pass to Quinn. Over Holiday. Too close. Quinn. That's Good. too close. Quinn's got 15 points. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Now here is Holiday. Eight points for him. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see. Oh, that was nice. Play again. Man, 
he's got what a play. A great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. New Orleans in the lead. Finally get Knacker back. Normally I go for dunks though. And it's slammed in by Holiday. I'll tell you, Holiday moves so smoothly. Good job of creating space off the pick. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. A big key to the Clippers' recent surge, the development of Montrez Harrell. His activity and his ability to score. All right, let's go, man. Keep this alive. For this team. And he also can be very intimidating. So for the Pelicans, Hayes is checked in for Williamson. Josh Hart comes in for Ingram. And Moore subbed in for Drew Holiday. The Clippers also changing. Oh, come on, man. Zubats is checked in for Montrez Harrell. Green comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And Maurice Harkins subbed in for Paul George. Moore finds Reddick. Back to Moore. And there's the pass to Hart. Can't hit that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And the Clippers getting Harrell in there. I don't know what the hell he was thinking of. Turned out to be a decent trade for both teams. You're totally right. The Rockets already had Capella. Harrell was sort of a redundant in terms of skill set. And you can only have one rim runner on the floor before you began to compromise spacing. Clippers with the ball. Following the score by New Orleans. Oh, my God. The these Clippers empty looks are driving me crazy. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot. More what are you doing? Coming away with Why would you do that? And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have the confidence. No. Nope. You have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Over to the wing. Stripped it. Get it. Oh, he got it back. Now I left my man open. And he finishes nicely. On the man, the Pelicans are winning because I am not getting anything going. He has a score first mindset. Each one plays with a lot of poise. There you go. Buys him time to find Let's go. Open man. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Oh, is that my first foul, though? I need a rest. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Reddick passes to Moore. Pass to Hayes. Back to Moore. Shot clock at five. Outside oh, that's not good. He made it. Wow. I did not think he was going to get that off in time. One eye on the Well, I thought we were going to get the board. The shot clock ending the quarter the right way. All right. Well, I need a rest anyway. Not a good start. Holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. All right, we'll turn the this around. The work they've done against Paul George has been a big factor. He hasn't done anywhere near the kind of damage we expected. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Let's go. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. Guys, what stands out to you from the Pelicans in this one? I don't know why I do that. At running guys to Let him take board. a three. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So for New Orleans right now. Ah, uh, that's okay, we got it. There with J.J. Reddick, and there's Davis, and it's Hayes in at the five spot. Oh, I think he wanted timing. the lob. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. Now here's more. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And Hayes kicks to more. This one for three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, I think they prepared to face more defensive pressure. And that one didn't happen. And boy, they just rolled. Oh, they came in focused and ready to play. That requires and a lot of effort. Facing little resistance, they never pulled back. New Orleans leading by five. Reddick dishes to Hayes. Back to Reddick. 
I'm gonna need a break pretty soon. I'm running around like crazy. I'm all over him. Some solid defensive work there from Quinn. Oh, what the? Pulls up the wing, and he yes. gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. For New Orleans, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here's Hart. Off target at the rim. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at his finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or trying to get open. It. Now here's Green. Pass it. Hopeless. Here's Quinn. He's got 23. Over Reddick. That's it. Yeah. Pelican Took lead. our time with it. Down to just one on the bucket from Quinn. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Now here's Reddick. D right on him. Pays the pass to Hart. Outside, Davis. I'm deep. I don't know what he's thinking. Does not find the target. That makes him three for five. Ooh, there you go. Down with a nice jam. Now we got the lead. Lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. New Orleans has gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. I can use the rest, to be honest. I used up a lot New of stamina Orleans. early. You know, Steve, so much goes into being an effective bench player. What do you like to see in a team's sixth man? What I love, Kevin, is a guy that can come off as a sixth man is he doesn't disrupt what's going on with the starters. Also, he's ready. And most of those guys that wins that award, they don't need time to adjust to the game. Ah. They come in and make an immediate impact. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Derek Favors checked in for Hayes. Williamson comes in for Davis. Ingram, he's checked in for each one more. There you go. And it's Lonzo Ball in for J.J. Reddick. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Here's Ball. What the hell was that? Shot, no good. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. And their road trip is only getting started as that's the second of six for them. Here's Quinn. Oh, that was weird. He's got 29 oh, points. man. I hate it when they cut like that. Ingram passes to Williamson. Oh, he almost missed. What amazes me about watching Williamson, his lift into the air, it, it, it's so effortless. Now, Shannon. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Win. Oh! That was murder. Look at that filthy little pump fake. Got him in the air. As you could hope for. Bam. Have been a lot of New Orleans has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. With some arc. Hart, no good. And it's the Clippers ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Win. Ooh. With a dunk right over Lonzo Ball. Damn. Hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that. Why not? Player. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. Favors trying to break free. Oh, I got the board. By Quinn. Clippers leading by three. Takes it from 10. Ah, that looks good. And for the Pelicans, I don't think I'm just like really tired. Pass to Favors. Over Murray. Favors can't get Oh, that was my board. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Yep. Takes the alley oop pass and dunks it down. Nice. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's Ball after the Clippers pick up two. To the inside. I wonder if and I should start getting like. Shot, so he'll get a chance at the um, the Pelicans, they like Tyler's score or whatever. 
Yeah, or just sub me off. Cause I mean, I used a lot there. It's probably it for the half. We are up by seven now. That one's not gonna go. And so it's Los Angeles heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And they've done. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Almost got our next playmaking badge, too, but we got to get assists to get that. Che, one sec. What up, Ghost? Nice work on D. The guys are really feeding off you. Thanks, Ghost. I'm trying. I see that. Keep it up. Yes, sir. And Simple if you're little just pep talk there. This one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Really an incredible game from Quinn. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Oh, whoops. I, I was trying to post fade, not. That's a waste. I'm doing a lot of that. Then it's Paul George. Then it's Williams. And it's Quinn in at the point. Paul. Yeah, I gotta say, his shoot's really weird. Like, he shoots at an angle sometimes. And he gets the bucket. Ingram's Even when there's no one on him. And not only can Ingram score from the perimeter, but, but he can also contribute inside. I wasn't ready to receive that yet. Ah, uh, he's too small. To block. George against Holiday. Over George. The shot the claw. by Holiday, no good. Los Angeles leading by oh, five. I see it. Come on, Kawhi. That's too good. Yeah. He's a very efficient five for six on the game. That's easy money. Great rhythm on the catch and shoot. Kawhi showing us what's good. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking our team to steal from. I gotta say. Kicks to Williamson. Down low. Oh, catch stopped. Yeah. Kawhi tried. Great anticipation by the claw. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Quinn. Oh, my bad. And stolen by Williamson. Paul with a wide open look. Ah. Good. The assist that time from Holiday. It's a close Holiday's game, though. Three assists now in this one. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. The pass to Williams inside. Ooh, no. Leonard, no luck. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Ingram with it. Now guarded by Harold. And wow, he made it, hey? Ingram. The determination of Ingram is simply awesome. I mean, maintaining control on the drive despite the obvious content. Holiday brings the double team. Leonard Easy. Free. And George with the stuff. Oh, just solid on the one. You're gonna double me like that. I'm gonna pass it off. I just like, like it when they actually do the something. They want with the ball. You know, when my team is actually moving to position. Here's ball. And favors kicks to Whoa. Williamson. Six on the shot clock. Ingram outside. To the middle. Second chance shot. Oh. It goes, and the Clipper lead is cut down to just one. On Calmed the right down there. Holiday. I like over the last few years, Holiday's proven he can shoulder the scoring load. Doing exactly that tonight. Here's Quinn. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Nice there. Getting the reverse. I think that one, that protects the ball, though. So I think why it does that so much is because there's a lot of defense on me. Or it's close. Sometimes it just does it, though. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Smitty, I heard this the other day, letting a player stay in the game after his sixth foul, but granting an extra free throw to the other team. What do you think of that? <laughs> Kevin, that's crazy. I mean, <laughs> no way. I, do I knew you'd say that. I knew you'd say that. I do summer league games, and I watched his ten fouls. There's no way we could have had that many fouls when I played. We have to keep it at six foul, and you're out. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Davis is checked in for Williamson. Whoops. Josh Hart comes in for Brandon Ingram. Look at that D, Jay though. Reddick checked in for Drew Holiday. And it's Etwan Moore checking in for Ball. Here's Quinn again, Los Angeles. Go with that mid range. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. Pass to Moore. 
from 13. And ah, I jumped drops. way too late. Morris got his first two points. Not a volume mid-range shooter. Each one does a nice job of just taking with the defense. Ah, uh, I don't know why I did that. I thought I had a bit more space. Three. Pass to Hart. Inside. Oh Davis. no! And it's Davis finishing Damn. Off. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's gonna fire up, Greg. Everybody on that bench. This is a close knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Quinn dishes to Green. Oh, look at Green go! Dirty. I like that to smart IQ the there. And the bounce to do some damage inside. Here's more. I can't steal it from these guys. More outside, and there's the pass to Favors. Here's Hart. Lock at six. And the rejection by Zubats. And here's the fast break. Here's Quinn. And the I had to sink that. I held my breath a little bit. Got 40 points. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. Don't leave too much. The D down low. Oh, what was that block? I was nowhere near him. Cut down now to just four points with the basket from Moore. What each one more lacks in size, he makes up for in smarts. Good read, good finish. Green kicks to Zubats. Favors brings the double. Pass to Harkless. Shamit. Try to get open for him. There you go. Los Angeles with Try the to block the guy out. That's two bombs in a row from long range. For New Orleans, they've gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Davis finds Redding. Back to Davis. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing? Great D that time from Green. There is the value no! of rim protection. Oh, we got it, Lucky. Forcing the miss. That was Lucky. Here's Quinn. What happened there? And it's a defensive oh, we got a violation. yeah, that's a free throw for this us. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one, and he shows the focus there. Nails the technical. All right, now we get it and back. This is Alvin Gentry's fourth stop as an NBA head coach. He's been working as an NBA assistant skipper yep. since 1988. I love that. Over three decades in this league. Off the dribble. I, when, I gotta get volume Gordon shooter up too. And with so many legendary coaches, he's seen it all. There's the triple. Oh, that Green was a horrible no shot. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Oh, foul. On that one, so he'll shoot two here. I was hoping I'd fade away from Some him. Some good defense in the NBA, so let's check out the leaders. The Clippers, number one. It's the hallmark of a strong defensive team. When you can keep your opponents to such a low point total, it shows you are setting the pace. And he makes the first. Oh, that was early. Still got it. Good from Quinn. Pelicans trail by 12. Passes it to Hart. Now here is Davis. Shot to stop the run. Great T that time from Green. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage. Oh, look, what happened? No, why would you back up there? Play the game. And it's never too early to start looking at our contenders for this year's dunk contest. There's I'm no 13th. Doubt that makes no sense, bro. I don't get it. Best athletes. <laughs> and it seems like each year. I've done so many dunks, but they don't high. like throw me I mean, in. I'll probably props, still do it. Crazier concepts to the competition. The level of dunks. I think this is going to be a good one. Some might say he's a long shot at this point, but you never know. Hey, stranger things I don't think so. I should be number one right now. That dunk contest three-point thing has always we'll been so glitched over the last years. They haven't as changed we get it. Closer to All -Star weekend. One thing we already know, there are some great players pulling in votes so far. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those. I got to do more of those quick pull-up shots. I'm getting be better at them. Into. More passes to Reddit. Shipped it. I picked it up. Duretic. To the left Jage. wing. 
fires from the line. And he overshot that one, missing. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Oh, no! Sometimes you just go for the points. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Reddick. I was all over him. Clippers with the rebound. Green's got four rebounds in this game. Come on. Quinn, no good. New Orleans gotten a lot of looks for outside tonight. Five oh, Dan. Drew Holiday check in for Sorry, the I'm getting impatient. Los Angeles making a switch here. I should take mid-range Jays. Not necessarily. If I want to get those easy jumpers, mid-range. We've got 148 left here in the third quarter. Here's Hart. Good D. I'm long gone. And now the Clippers on the break. Tries it from 19. Yep. Buries the jump shot. He started cutting me off anyway. That's when you got to use the jumper. The Clippers. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Here's Holiday. Oh, he still nice makes it. The glass. Holiday's got 16. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Here's Quinn. And got it. No dunk. Another basket. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Pelicans. Pass to Davis. Well, that was an aggressive pass. I didn't get him that oh, off balance, did I? He's got eight. Back to Davis. Shot clock at six. An easy two points on the layup. Eight points for him. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Here's Quinn. That nice. Goes. Count it. Really lag, like throwing it on 14. here. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Teardrop shot and Drew Holiday. A bucket on the assist from Reddick. And that's now 18 points for Drew Holiday. Los Angeles leading by 12. All right, I would like to get a few assists. Left to play here in the third. There's the pass to Kevin Gill. To the paint. Here's Quinn. Too close. Oh, but I'm tired. New Orleans. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the FedEx Forum in Memphis. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. JJ oh, wow. One of the premier shooters in this league. Boy, he knocked that one down. Here's Quinn. It'll count. And oh. the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Los Angeles in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We've got more in store for you right after this. Well, it's because I'm too tired. I like all this reaching and whatnot and is letting me, tonight is making me way more exhausted earlier. Assist of the game. Kind of a different and game. He may not be known as a pass first guy playing out of the two guard spot, but he should. I, well, I don't know. I was too low on it. It's because I'm shorter. I think that's why. When he needs to. So it's hard to get Whatever it done. Whatever the offense requires, that has to be your mind. I'm almost wondering if I should get rid of it and do something more interior. First. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Holiday and Ingram out on the perimeter. Williamson out there with Davis, and it's Ball in at the one. That's the Pelicans five. Six to shoot. Holiday dishes to Davis. Oh, come on. The three pointer, no good. Clippers leading by nine. Oh. Out of bounds. New Orleans will take possession. I tried to get onto the three point yeah, line just quickly. Out on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. New Orleans has gone six of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Davis kicks to Ingram. Holiday, the pass to Ingram. Davis looking for an opening. Back to Ingram. Over George. The shot misses. The Clippers go the other way with it. Beach. And now here's George, the fast break opportunity. Ah. Here's Ingram with the rebound. Ingram's got four rebounds now tonight. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. 
And That's mine. Let's go. Again. And for the Clippers, they're shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting them. Oh, man. By Quinn, no good. Pelicans trail by nine. Surprised they're not going down, though, for real. There's the lob to the hoop. Oh, and wow. And the dunk by Williamson. And yeah, he, he's That's his first dunk of the game. We've never seen anyone hang in the air like this young man. Williamson is special. Los Angeles calls timeout. Come on, baby. The Pelicans making a switch here. Favors has checked in. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's Quinn. He's covered by ball. Oh, Leonard in position. Oh, Kawhi. And it's tonight. In addition, having trouble getting these assists. Superb on offense. Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. His long reach really allowing. Oh, why am I jumping? A good number of block shots. Oh Favors man. Can't get it to go. Clippers leading by seven. Oh no! Why was I facing? What's going on? What am I doing? Reverse Unbelievable. like behind the back Holiday. lob. He's Are you kidding me? Here's Williamson. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. All right, I'll let him catch up Williamson because I'm playing dumb. Points now in the quarter. When you've gained a decade or more of experience, not going in. I don't know why I'm doing Holiday that. They stand very patient, waiting for someone. I can't to get the steal. To the inside. And, he makes and instead, I got a foul. Give an and one. I'm letting them catch up. Is what I'm doing. And the D not really doing its job there. A Get her done. Are you serious? Why is that the sign? The paint. Like, why did you think that would be good? Well, you know, he's the former third overall pick out of Georgia Tech. Favors has made steady improvement. Productive at the four and the five spot. Dude, these threes are not going. The Pelicans have gone three or seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. Oh, my God. Now we're losing. I'm, I don't know what's going on, man. Clippers have gone 0 6 in the fourth quarter. Disastrous start to the period. Pass to Harold. He feeds it to Quinn. George, Come on, George. And a yes. Kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10 nothing run by the Pelicans. Here's Ball. Here's Williamson. Look at that D. Doesn't right matter. He is eight for eleven with that shot. Shooting at a high clip, he's found ways to get quality looks. Los Angeles has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the. Oh, off my face! And ball comes to no. There you go. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Let's turn this around. That's Come on. Lit right there, courtesy of Kawhi's natural explosiveness. Stripped it. Get it. See, that's annoying. Dishes to Ingram. To the middle. Leaving him open. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. It is. Classic fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. There you go. Quinn's got 55. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. That's really bad switch. Ball Damn with it. the bucket. And Ball being aggressive there with his penetration. Seizing on any open space to get to the basket. Here's Quinn. There you go. It's good. Great play by Williams. Had to make to that. Up. Williams has got his fifth assist in this one. I made sure my, my positioning of my thumbstick was right. That's something I've noticed from changes for me. It feels like I'm straight, but I'm not. And when it feels like I'm going way left, I'm actually perfectly straight. So I've had to try and train myself to like when I'm Just jump shooting, shoot. aim a little like it feels like you're turning to the left, like way on the left side of the stick, you know what I mean? We know Drew likes to get to the rim, but he's developed a mid-range jumper for when the defense is playing him that way. Here's Harold. And Ooh, foul. All right, go to the line. That's fine. Officials on the call with the foul. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. That's good from Harold. What I appreciate about Harold is how hard he's worked on oh, this man. Skill set. The jumper, we gotta the get the stop. Moves, and the passing. Yeah, that's a big miss right there. Now only a one-point lead. The pass to Williamson. 
Pass to Ingram. Good D. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. Leonard's got nine rebounds in the Come on, Lou. Getting it done. Here's Quinn. There you go. Oh, crap. Damn it. Get out of here. Fuck cat. So annoying. Six All right. Points. This guy cannot be stopped. That rebound they was important. No answer for him in this one. Now a timeout called by New They're gonna, I think I really need this timeout. Are they going to sit me or are they going to keep me out? I think they realize they need me, so. There, oftentimes a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now we present our Jordan player of the game. And Kevin, it, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else. That was sick. Out on the floor. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with I David love watching Alvin. these. Well, I was able to listen in on what Alvin Gentry said to his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. And here is Ball. Oh, man. And that's going to be too many I'll steps. say. It's the whistle what was the that? I hate to see that. That was I good. Everyone's mind is on the play, but you've got to protect the ball. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Drew Holiday. Here's Quinn. To the paint. No! Why would you stop running, Kawhi? And I got a foul. But I'm forcing it. Oh man, I forgot Lonzo can't shoot for. Like, look at that terrible-looking layup. Already. Well, it was only a short or, you know what I mean, jump shot. Ball, this past summer as part of the oh, this no. Out of LA Come on, man. What was that shot? You can't waste these shots. That was our these chance. Years, a doubt, could be ahead of him here in New Orleans. Leonard brings the back to the line, back to the line. Ball I'm gone. Good. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an yes. easy one. To a tough one. And you know, how do you catch a and shoot? Percentage look, but this is why we play the game. Stripped it. Tipped. And here again, Los Angeles in transition up the court. They go. Oh, man. And at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I can't make these threes. I'm cold on him, so. I'm aware that the D is going to hack him in these situations. And the first one drops. Old free throws. Good for All right. Clippers leading by three. Williams oh, he's popping three. it. It's good. Ooh. Smooth that is dirty. Williams making it look easy. Ball. The pass to Ingram. Back to ball. Favors looking over the floor. He kicks to Ingram. Five to shoot. That's going to be a bad shot. Make sure you get the board. Pelicans keep it alive. Oh, tough play underneath. Yeah, there. too little. What do you want? They ain't boxing out. Just what they were hoping for. A little more time off the clock. Leonard, the pass to Quinn. They double him. Trying to get rid of it. Pass. Quinn dishes to Leonard. <laughs> So That's so irritating. I was trying to Sometimes pass so many times, but get them in trouble. And he knocks down the first one. Mark, why? And so he makes there you go. We need those free throws. I'll Six point you, game. He doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Pelicans trail by six. Now a timeout called by timeout. New Orleans. Timeout. We have to like what we're seeing from Quinn. Yeah, he's just torching them right now. A good decision. To I need these timeouts, though, bro. I do. Reset button and figure out how to slow his roll. Oh, 
and the Pelicans with possession here. Outside, Reddick. Oh man, we don't and need foul fouls right now. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on George. J.J. Reddick, not only one of the most dangerous shooters in this league, he's worked to become a very good team defender as well. And great work at the line there to chip away at the lead. Oh, no! Oh, oh that's so dumb. Because that is avoidable. And you want Ingram to take over in these situations, and he does just that when his name is called. Here's Quinn, and it's Williamson. Come on! Why? Has gone one of three from I'm giving it up. The I feel like that should have been a steal. Oh, why are you having me D up on Zion? What is this? Switch back. Outside, Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Ingram. I can't get him. Too little. The shot goes down to get to even. William Jim's got ten points now, just in this quarter. This is why they go to Zion. His teammates trusting in his ability to get the job. Get out of the way! Oh my I'm stuck on my teammates. Reddick against Williams. God, it's loud in here. Here's Quinn. And it's nice. the time running down on the shot clock. Let's go. And the Clippers lead by two. This is crazy. You want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. And I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. Oh, he, oh, I thought he missed and it. Tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Big time basket. Man, this is going to be close. Big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Kicks it to here. Inside. Here's Quinn. He's yep. covered by ball. It's in. I tell you what, it's, Damn. it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. A big time possession here. Yeah, and their hearts must be going a hundred miles an hour right now. I'm so it's stuck on everybody. Side. It's ball. He ain't popping that. 23 seconds left in the fourth. Here's the floater. One favors kicks to ball. Oh no! Here's the teardrop. Money. Oh the my God! Shot to tie it up. All right. And how about I'll try and get the final play. Which ball this is going to be nuts. He just seems so much more comfortable taking and making those big shots. This guy is a because we're tied. So. Ten seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Passes it to Quinn. Of yeah! Ooh! And the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything. Oh about man, that but that honestly. Now a timeout call. There's still five North. seconds. They're trailing by two. It's like, five do I wait on it? But the oh. they're out of timeouts. Now don't, don't give them a shot. Seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Oh, don't give it to Reddick. Reddick for three. Oh, yes. Reddick oh. So it's the Clippers taking the win. Wow. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. That was crazy. An and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge. That was close, man. I'm glad I got it. That was a clutch shot, man. Easily got that attribute upgrade. Ooh, big jump on the shooting. See all the shooting I'm doing now. That's wild, bro. I'm glad I at least made that shot. That was the game winner. Kevin, thank you. Another win for you, Jay. Looks like this uh, team is becoming a real contender. Is it too early to start planning for the playoffs? Hey, it's never too early, man. I started planning for the playoffs before the season even began, you know? I took one look at our roster. I called my agent and said, clear May and June for me, man, because this team is stacked. No joke.
That should give us some chemistry as well, though. For the playoffs, and I hope to see you there as well. Congratulations. Guys. Yeah, chemistry went up. All right, David, thank you. I mean, clearly not. Clearly, you're not garbage if I just shut up the crowds. What's up, bro? Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate it, bro. I'm fine. Like, it's like, you smell that layout? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? You play good, man. Beautiful layout, huh? You remember that? I do, man. I do. I was just floating in there. I've been practicing, man. Clearly. Different little ending. I like that. All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. The progression. So my favorite time is to upgrade the progression. All right, so seven upgrades here. Do the close shot. Max out the close shot. That brings us to a 92, bro. That would make us, what, a 90 overall for a close? What about a free throw? Do I want to do free throw? Perimeter D. Maybe max out my perimeter D. Look at that already. Just one of those. I'll max out my perimeter D. Uh, maybe the lateral quickness. Everything else, almost everything is maxed out here except for lateral quickness. Got to get that. Ball handling. Do a couple of that. I got two more. Maybe bring out the post fade to an 80. I think that sounds pretty good. Less and less. These things take longer and longer to get to. But they've obviously made it easier to get it. You know what I mean? That's the beautiful thing. They've made it easier. Uh, we don't have too many ticks to get. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, anyways. What's my driving dunk? 81. Well, that's as max it'll get. So we're 92 overall now. We have a lot of VC. Before, we didn't have that much VC, but now we're getting a ton, so that's awesome. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what a crazy, crazy game. Uh, that was close, down to the wire. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. We have a message. Probably just something about real recognizing real. That was a wild dunk. Appreciate it, Carl Anthony. Cat, just call him Cat. See? Real recognize real stupid stuff. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash danku8000, Twitter danku8000, Instagram danku8000, and Snapchat danku8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or a hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% of your next DX racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code danku8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's head things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.